Hi, this is Anthony from Behind the Scenes, and I'm with... Lawrence Lalam. Uh, I'm the director and co-writer of Cypher. Hi, Lawrence. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good to see you, too. I don't know if we've actually met in person before. I think we have. I feel like we've met at... I think it was a year or so ago. I think when the Blue Jet premiered. Right, right. I think yeah. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was brief, though. It was very brief. Yeah, we were busy that night. I remember yeah. you, though. I remember yeah. you. Yeah, so I, yeah. But Cypher's playing tonight at the Vancouver Short Film Festival. Yes. It's in the port, uh, program four, yeah. the final block of the Vancouver Short Film Festival. We're closing out the night. Closing out the night. And it was a Crazy Eights film fest, or it was, I'm sorry, it was part of the Crazy Eights. Yeah, almost a year ago now. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what was the story behind Cypher? What was your, what was your inspiration to tell the story? And, of course, you only had eight days to do it all, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Jerome Yu, who is a lead actor, uh, he got together myself and Natch Tatsumina, who's a yeah. producer, and we all kind of started shooting ideas around and we wanted to tell like an Asian American story, but something that was resonated with us. And then in, in talking, we discovered that we all grew up on hip hop. And the, the, at, the, at the time, uh, there's sort of a growing new wave of Asian and Asian American hip hop coming out of uh, Korea. And, and there's sort of a lot, and, and there's also uh, Korean American uh, rappers coming to the scene and becoming yeah. welcome. So we wanted to do something about this. We have a story related to that. In research, Jerome found a story that centered around Tiger, Tiger JK, who's a pretty big uh, Korean rapper. He's sort of like the Jay Z of, of Korean oh, okay. rap. Yeah. And he, uh, the story, Tiger, Tiger JK grew up in Miami, but he, uh, he was born in Miami, but grew up in LA. And when there was a lot of uh, violence and tension between the, the black and the Korean community, he tried to create hip hop as a way to bring the two communities together. Um, so we were just really inspired by that story, and we tried to reach out, but we couldn't get a hold of him. We we tried all his social media and whatnot, right. but uh, yeah. It, so we want. So we ended up just doing a story inspired by by this sort of uh, by his this character. Right. Um, and then we read a book uh, about uh, the underground uh, rap, uh, underground hip hop scene in L.A. And right. um, yeah, we we started to. That's how kind of Cypher grew into what it is. Yeah. And where did you come with the name Cypher? Uh, you know, Cypher, <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's funny. No, no one's really asked that question. It, it actually just came randomly from a song called Cypher. I mean, Cypher itself can either mean a, something, a cryptic message, or it can mean like a jam, you know. A Cypher is, you know, just when... Uh, Guy, you know, rappers get in the circle and they just start to they they, they, they lay, lay a beat and they just start to freestyle to the beat yeah. and they sometimes jump from one person to the other. Um, and but the, actually, I I called it cipher because it was a, a song. It was a uh, I think it was like either a, a Japanese or Chinese. No, it was Korean. It was a Korean rap song with a bunch of rappers and it was called cipher. And it just oh, okay. it was like purely uh, a temporary title that just stuck. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And. Yeah. Yeah. So you've had you've had formidable success with uh, not only this film winning, you know, being in the final six of the Crazy Eight, but your your first film, the Blue Jet, was about your dad. Yes. Uh, very well received. Won a lot of awards across the globe, basically. I think yeah, they yeah. won quite a few awards. Well, didn't I mean, mostly, mostly in Canada, mostly, mostly in Canada. Yeah. Okay. But you know, it's it showed in some, it showed in some other festivals around the world. Yeah. But that's but that's about your dad, as we touched on briefly. Yeah, yeah. Started, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My dad was a radio re uh, rebellious radio DJ who broadcasted forbidden rock and roll in the '70s in Taiwan, and uh, he always told me stories about that as a, when I was a kid and I just thought it was a fascinating story and when it came around time to make a, a film for my film school uh, final year yeah. uh, I just uh, it's was, it was funny because I was working on something else but I thought this was too big a story for film school but my teachers really encouraged me to to do this story because it was I guess it was because it was interesting yeah well and it was well it was well pulled, pulled off yeah. I thought it, I thought it, you did an amazing job with it we put a yeah we put a lot of love into it but uh I mean, we definitely, like, a lot of credit goes to my DP, Leonardo Harin. We really sat down and tried to figure out the tone of it. And, yeah. you know, we were inspired a lot by, I saw Wong Kar Wai 
and sort of Hong Kong New Wave. Yeah. And we sort of took that approach, you know, it's sort of telling that story. But you won some awards here. Yeah, when actually. It, when it premiered that... Well, I don't know if it premiered Yeah, well, here. it premiered in, in Festival Nouveau Cinema in, in Montreal. But, but yeah, we, we did well here uh, at the Vancouver Short Festival where yeah. we won uh, uh, Best Short Film, Best Director, and Best Male yeah. Actor, yeah. Which, is, which is great. It was great. Yeah. And I, I, was, I was through the roof happy for you. I mean, yeah, thank you. But that's, but that's what I noticed about the Vancouver film community is, is the acknowledgement of other people who partake in, in the film. Like it, it is such a group effort. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can't you can't direct the movie that you've written essentially without the crew. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. That's what I like about the community here is it's is it's it, it is very much community. Everybody knows everybody for the most part. Yeah, I feel like there's a. I mean, the community is not. I mean, there's a, it's a it's a decent sized community, but I feel like it's it feels close and intimate, and that's what right. I like about. I, every time I come out to these events, I I feel like I know. I feel like I know somebody, and it's right. always, uh, yeah, it's, it's always great. No, familiar face. Yeah, it was just great. Yeah. I, I like, I like the seeing familiar faces. And it's nice. I feel comfy. I feel like at home. Yeah. So now, speaking of crazy eights, getting back to the crazy eights thing, um, you're a part of that now this year. Yes, I, I was one of the judges. I was one of the judges. Uh, the, I had the great privilege. They invited me to help. Uh, yeah listen to the pitches you yeah. know and then help pick out the top six right and uh, this is great there's a great lineup this year I'm, I'm really excited for uh, ranging from like you know hard uh, immigration dramas to sort of like Tim Burton esque like good t- good oh, okay. Tim Burton esque um, fantasy yes yeah, sort of like a coming of age fantasy oh, okay. to like sports Sports comedy, and right. so it's a good, there's a good range, and uh, a lot of, and also great filmmakers. That I'm, I'm excited to see sort of like, sort of have been have been doing a lot of work and sort of up and coming, right. uh, like like the the Spear sisters and Melanie Jones who did FSM, right. and um, uh, Anna Yisa who's been around the scene for a while, Anissa Visser, and um, blah, blah, blah. there's a uh, Topher. Uh, his last name. I'm sorry, uh-huh. Topher Graham, I think. Okay. Who is, uh, and also was doing extraordinary Amy, uh, written by Latina Shiva, who is actually also the uh, co festival director, co director, festival co director of uh, Vancouver Short Film Festival. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. So I'm mean, really excited for the lineup this year, and um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was a yeah. So other than the crazy eights, what has Lawrence got? What do you got on the back burner? What are you working on now? Is it anything you can discuss? Yeah, I mean, your... right now I'm editing a, f- uh, a conspiracy thriller uh, featured docudrama with another director um, who essentially helped me get into the film film scene. They, she started Ying Wang. She started the Film Media Society in Richmond oh. and also a film festival, and I kind of got vol- volunteered there, and that's where I met my girlfriend also. Oh, okay. um, And she's been working on this film for, since 2007. Oh, wow. And... Uh, for ten years now, so I, I, right now I'm just. So it's I'm, really a labor of love for her. Yeah, it's a it's a documentary now, more of a docudrama, and uh, I've sort of just I, I came on initially as an editor, but also co-directing and co-writing the dramatic elements. Oh, okay. Uh, and then after that's done, I'm gonna be uh, focusing on my own feature. I'm looking at maybe um, I'm lo- I've been looking at the story that explores the world of real estate uh, and ultra rich Asian kids, oh, okay. and uh, even like sort of there's this thing where when when China has these political runaways that have embezzlement scandals. They, they usually come to Vancouver for some reason. Right. And they send, <laughs> they send the, these people after them. And uh, I just found this story really interesting. So, I, you know, maybe a, a coming-of-age crime, crime thriller. I kind of... I kind Almost of like skip tracing? Uh, in a way? Maybe. Jump, yeah. Maybe. I, yeah, I don't know. It's, I'm still figuring it out. It's still, like, really early in the conceptual oh, okay. development phase. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got all the ingredients in there. Yeah. Still, still figuring it out, but you know that's something I'm looking forward to delve, deep diving into. Nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for your time, Lawrence. Yeah, thank you for very, your very much appreciated. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to interview me. Not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you wrote something about the crazy eights last time, right?